Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. This is my name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkers.com. Here to bring your monthly forecast for what does your love interest secretly want to tell you for December 2019? Are they in love with you? What do they want to tell you? What do they secretly want to tell you? What's how are they feeling about you? What's going on with them? All right, so this is going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. If you'd like more information, you can check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, let's jump right in. So what's going on in my Sagittarius's romantic love life for December 2019? What does their love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about the most, what does their love interest secretly want to tell my Sagittarius's for December 2018? What does my Sagittarius's love interest secretly want to tell my Sagittarius's for December 2019? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, that feels good. Okay, and this one I'm going to shuffle the, the regular way because of the fact that these are too small. What is my Sagittarius's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What is my Sagittarius's love interest? Secretly want to tell my Sagittarius's December 2019. What is my Sagittarius's secretly want to tell my Sagittarius's December 2019? Wow, okay, great. All right, so I'm going to do a nine card spread with the Tarot and Lenormand, and then we're going to clarify with the Romance Angels. Okay. So Sagittarius, they want to tell you that they want to send you a message of love, Page of Cups energy, okay? So they want some kind of message of love here with the Page of Cups energy. And why is that? Because they are confused or they feel like something is confusing or they feel like something's hidden here or they feel like something is yet to be revealed or they've been dreaming about you with the Moon card, okay? And... And actually, if I look at the energy of this card, these cards actually, for me, does show me that this person is, it's a dreamy, nice feeling here, okay? And why is that? Because Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, they are trying to figure out, okay, does this person love me or not? Page of Cups, um, excuse me, Page of Cups and Queen of Cups energy. They're trying to figure out if you love them. They're not sure. They're, they have an uncertainty here. Okay. Um, and why is that? Because of something to do with an ending. So possibly you and this person may have stopped something, something may have ended, or there's something involving a Scorpio energy here with this death card or something that changed or transformed here. And why is that? Because of love, okay? So they want to tell you that, that you're their true love, that they're, they, they definitely love you with this Ace of Cups energy. This is the best card in the deck, okay? Okay, and why is that? Because there was a realization because there was some type of ending here or something ended to start something new pertaining to love here, opportunity of love. They want a message of love. They want to know that you love them. Um, they're confused. They don't understand what happened here with you and, you and them, okay? Uh, because things crashed down, they, 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 they crumbled apart here um, with the tower card energy. So this person wants to tell you that they love you, that they want an opportunity of love with you, and uh, they they know that there was some type of ending here and things crashed down, but they love you and they want a message of love from you. They're confused and or they've been dreaming about you and they just want to know that you love them. Okay, why is that? Because this would fulfill their wishes, Nine of Cups energy, okay? And why is that? because seven of swords maybe they're not being honest maybe you turned your back on them because this person in the card has their back turned okay and they want some kind of honest behavior or something to do with sneaky or deceptive behavior around the seven of swords energy um so i'm gonna go down the list here and see what's going on so they want a message of love because of the fact that there was some kind of ending here and this ending they thought fulfilled their wishes nine of cups energy or something happened with something transformed here that fulfilled their wishes here they are confused or they feel like something is hidden or deceptive about an opportunity of true love or love here and they are trying to be honest with themselves or they feel like something is not on the up and up here with seven swords energy something is kind of deceptive here around it and they want to know okay are you going to give your couple love you're not going to give your couple love uh, even though things have come crashing down or something has drastically changed here with the tower card energy 
and um, they want some kind of long-term commitment and family here with the Ten of Pentacles energy. And they want to be honest about that with Seven of Swords energy because this would fulfill their wishes. But the main thing that they want to talk to you about or they want to tell you about is love and true love, opportunity of love, Ace of Cups energy. Okay, so why is the Page of Cups there? Because there's a flow of emotions here with the Fish card. They want some type of movement here. And why is the moon card there? Because of the tree. They want some type of healing or they've been waiting around. They've been being patient here. And that's what's bringing this confusion. And the page, the queen of cups, I don't know why I keep saying the page of cups, but the queen of cups is there because there is love here. Okay. So they want some type of movement. They want some kind of healing and they want love here with the heart card. Uh, this ending is a blockage and a challenge here with the, or a delay here with the mountain card. It's a challenge in the situation. And this Ace of Cups is saying that they want to be happy here. They want to have true love here with the Ace of Cups energy. And um, this Tower card, this change, this sudden upheaval, this thing that tear things apart is a confusion for them. Is is It feels like there's a cloudiness in this whole situation. And it's kind of, it's blocking out their happiness here. They feel like there's, there's this, this, uh, cloud over their happy ending there's this blockage over this and why is the nine of cups here they want to fulfill their wishes they're trying to use their intuition they feel that something's hidden here with the book card something yet to be known and they feel like there's something someone is not being honest or sneaky behavior here with seven of swords energy that's not quite right here with the snake card and uh they want some kind of movement towards family, long-term commitment. Um, that's what the ship card is about, movement. So here it's it's about they would feel very happy about true love and opportunity of love with you. Okay, Sagittarius. Um, but they feel that uh, they're trying to gain some kind of knowledge because of the fact that they feel like something's not quite right about moving forward here in with the ship card energy. And they feel like fulfilling their wishes uh, there's some kind of deception or maybe they're not being honest about the fact that they want some kind of long-term commitment and uh, stability here with the Ten of Pentacles and family here, with something surrounding family here. And they want healing here and they're confused about how to go about doing that. They've been dreaming about you. They want a message of love. They want some type of movement here. They're having a flow of emotions. They have love here for you. So it's pretty straightforward here, actually. So let's just see what this moon card is about. Why is this moon card here? Why is this moon card here? And for some of you who are single, um, this is showing me that they have ended a relationship and they see you as an opportunity of love. Or you ended a relationship and they see you as a potential opportunity of true love here. And they are kind of like, I, they can't be honest with you because you know, you're still dealing with this whole thing that just crashed down. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Okay, see, something to do with they're confused about this whole new love thing or true love thing. A person has stirred their romantic feelings. There's confusion there around that or they feel like something's hidden about that. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Because something ended uh, pertaining to somebody and they have romantic feelings. They feel like their feelings are real worth exploring. And why is the tower card here? Why is the tower card here? Because of the fact they can't be honest with you because this whole crashing down, this whole sudden thing that happened with the deception card. And why is the Seven of Swords here? And why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, so they can't be honest about the fact that they want some type of long-term commitment or someone is still married or in a committed relationship here because he says marriage is involved and they can't be honest about it. But I feel that I feel that this it's more about the fact that they see you as some kind of long-term potential here and they'd like to get uh, some kind of movement here. But, you know, because of this whole ending that's involved in the situation or something that needs to end, um, they can't move forward when it comes to you pertaining to new love here and they can't be honest about it because of this whole thing that's crashing down, this opportunity here that they, they see. They want to be happy when it comes to true love in this situation and they want long-term commitment and family here. All right, my Sagittarius, if you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great month.